Hi everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. My name's Izzy. Hope you're all doing well today because it's a great day, you know? Hopefully puppies make you happy. You gave you a little kiss, didn't you? Mm. You're like a little fluffy panda. So, this is Teddy. I'm gonna put him down before he literally mauls my face off. So today's video is gonna be a charity shop haul. So since charity shops reopened a few weeks ago, I've actually been into quite a few and bought quite a lot of stuff. So when I can, I like to shop secondhand rather than fast fashion, but I'm not saying that I completely don't shop fast fashion. Obviously, I've recently done a Shein haul, but since then I haven't bought anything from any fast fashion places. So I probably won't be doing any more Shein hauls or any hauls from fast fashion brands, but I'll definitely be doing some from more sustainable brands and sustainable companies. But anyway, without me rambling on too much, let's just get on to the video. Oh, also, I was gonna put this all into one video because I've bought stuff from eBay and Depop as well, but I'm gonna do a separate like eBay and Depop haul. I'm rambling so much, let's just get on to the video. <laughs> this is also gonna be a try on haul, so I'm gonna put all the clips of each item over here. This is why I left it blank because I'm smart. But yeah, you'll see all the clothes over here. So the first thing I got was this sweatshirt. It's just like this beige sandy colour. Oh my god, also, can I just say, I'm really sorry about my hands. They're really orange. I swear they're not like this in person, but for some reason the camera is making them look really patchy and orange. But yeah, it just looks like this. I don't really know what to say about it. It's just plain. Um, this is originally from Top Man. So when I go to charity shops, the first place I go to is the men's section because it's the best section. This is in a size extra, extra small, which I've only just realized. Normally I buy things in an extra large. This is a little bit smaller than I'd like it to be, but it still fits. This was only a pound, which is a freaking bargain. The next thing I got is also a jumper. Honestly, jumpers and sweatshirts are my favorite things and that is basically all I buy. It's quite bad, but nonetheless, the next jumper looks like this. This is more of an actual jumper. It's like knitted, but it doesn't feel knitted. I don't even know. This is not something I'd usually pick out, but for some reason, I just really was drawn to it and really liked it. It's from the brand Isle Essentials. I have no idea. It sounds like something from Marks and Spencers, which no hey. Sometimes you get some cute clothes in there, so we don't judge. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's just this jumper. It's like pink, light pink, dark pink, um, like this beigey sand color and white. And then the neckline has this like little cutout detail, which I think is really, really nice. But yeah, I just really like this jumper. I actually can't believe it's summer and I'm buying all these like thick winter clothes, honestly. Can you tell which season is my favorite to shop for? The next thing is this zip up navy jacket jumper thing. This definitely gives me old grandpa vibes. It's really soft on the inside. It's like fleece lined. Um, it has stripes going down the sides. It also kind of looks like an Adidas item, but it's not. I actually don't know where this is from because it has no writing, no label, no anything. So I could not tell you, but I just really like this. I'm pretty sure it was around £3.50. And yeah, it's just really nice. I like it. What else can I say, you know? The next thing I got was this um, fluffy little stuffed animal. He looks really lifelike, but he's not and really fluffy. You could just cuddle him. Look how lifelike the features are. You wouldn't believe this is fake. The next thing that I got, I never wear stuff like this. This isn't really my style. It's kind of really out of my comfort zone. But I always liked the trench coat kind of um, trend. But I never actually got one because I was like, it's not my style, you know, I'm not gonna pay like 30, 40 pounds for a coat that I might not wear. But I saw this one and it was only one pound and I thought I'll give it a go. If I don't like it, I can just donate it again and it's not like I've wasted my money. So yeah, it's just this like trench coat looking thing. It's not too long. I don't really know if it counts as a trench coat. I guess it's more of like a blazer style coat. I have no idea how to style this to be completely honest and I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I tried it on and I don't really like it. But again, for a pound, ain't no complaints. So next item is this top, which is very Y2K. But it looks like this, it's kind of hard to show, but obviously you'll see it on the try on clip. It's like a black cowl neck top and it's like open back and has this ring in the back. Um, it's got this bead detail on the sleeves, very cute, just I really like it. And also the material itself is really sparkly. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I can imagine this on a night out with some like black flares. Oh, but yeah, this one I'm pretty sure cost me £2.50. So the next thing I got is this scarf. It's like black with these triangle details. But yeah, I've been wearing this as a top because you know, it's really trendy to wear scarves as tops these days. Basically 
basically all I do is fold it into like a triangle and then tie it at the back. To be honest, this is quite small, so it only just about ties. Yeah, also when the scarf trend dies, which it will because all trends die, I'm gonna try and turn this into an actual top. Somehow, I don't know how, but I'm gonna try and turn it into like a little strappy top. This was only two pounds. So the next few things are all t-shirts. Just warning you. The first t-shirt I got is this one. It's like this light green color, which is one of my favorite colors to wear. I just think it's really cute and I just love green in general. It's like my favorite color, but it says Rowdy's Roadhouse. I don't even know. This is originally from American Eagle and it's a size large. I think this was around three pound 50 and I'm pretty sure it's from the British Heart Foundation. But yeah, I just really like this. This is definitely one of my favorite items from this whole haul, but it's this vintage Gap t-shirt. Cannot tell you how much I love this honestly it's perfect it reminds me of something Rachel from friends would wear because in an episode of friends Rachel wears this like burnt orange like red washed out t-shirt and I'm obsessed with that t-shirt literally every single time I see that episode I'm like I want that t-shirt like I literally manifested finding a t-shirt in this color can I just say it just says gap it's like a washed out orangey color again from the men's section it's in a size small this one was a bit more expensive it was five pounds which normally I don't spend that much on like a t-shirt from a charity shop but because it's gap and it's literally exactly what I wanted I was like, okay so this is the next t-shirt funny story about this my dad used to have like basically the exact same t-shirt and then he lost it and I literally found this in a charity shop and it looks exactly like it but it's this baby blue little striped t-shirt it just has one big stripe on the front and it's just plain on the back again just really liked it I love like oversized t-shirts like this I wear them all the time and this again cost me one pound we love a right the next t-shirt i got is this um it's kind of ugly not gonna lie but it's also kind of okay oh, i don't know anyway so it's just this bright blue t-shirt and it has a dragonfly on the front dragonfly and fun i just thought it was cute to be honest i kind of want to crop it because i feel like that would look a little bit better it's definitely like a grandma t-shirt I feel like. But yeah, this only cost me one pound. So again, I didn't really mind spending a pound if I didn't like it. So the next top again is from the men's section and it's just this t-shirt from the brand Burgess, Burgess, Burgess. Did you want some of this heated up? Oh yeah, please. But yeah, this is from the brand. I don't know how you say it. Burgess, Burgess. It's not Burgess, is it? It's Burgess. I don't know, but it's this t-shirt um it's really cool i really really like this the fabric is just so nice and i don't know what it is and i don't know how to explain it but it's like knitted but like really soft i don't even know but i just thought this was really cute i love the colors and i just like it a lot okay it's just really comfortable so no complaints and this was only two pound which is really really cheap the next thing i got was this red long sleeve shirt i can't actually remember where this was from I'm pretty sure it was like two or three pounds, but it's just this long sleeve red shirt, again from the men's section. And it's from the brand Woods and Grey. Got no idea, but it's really cute and I like it a lot. Right, so we're nearly done guys. I have two more things left to show and then we're finished with this part of the haul, part one. So the next thing I got were these tracksuit bottoms, these trackies, joggers, whatever you want to call them. Again, these are from the men's section. Do I even have to say that at this point? But yeah, they just look like this. They're from Puma. You can see the little Puma label there. These were literally brand new with tags and everything. They'd never been worn and they were only two pounds, which is so cheap. I thought these were perfect for just lounging around the house. I've actually worn these out as well. They're in a size medium and they fit really nicely. They're really comfortable got a drawstring and everything and they're just navy with little gray stripes down the side but yeah these are just perfect really really comfortable so the last thing that i got were these trousers but yeah they're just these like linen khaki green trousers they're low-waisted which at first i really hated you know the fact that low-waisted stuff was coming back into like becoming a trend again but I do really like these trousers and I like the fact they're low-waisted. Okay, I've said it. They're kind of like wide-legged at the bottom, so they just kind of flow out. I don't know what else to say, I just like them. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy and if you want to see part two of this video, which will hopefully be up soon. But yeah, I hope you have the best day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!